In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometry ratios of angles between 90 and 360 degrees. You will find this on page 462 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Okay, let's look at a few examples. Given that the angle is between 0 and 360, that means the whole revolution, find the possible values of sin x, 0 0.5, cos x negative 0 0.8, and tan x equals 2.5. Now, you're still going to make use of the cost diagram. So the first thing you must notice is that sin is positive. Now, where is sin positive? Sin is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. That's your cost. So I just do exactly the same as the previous video. I just make my two angles in that quadrant. Now, after that, I'm going to start by first finding that angle towards the x-axis. Now, how do I find that? If there's a negative, don't press it in. Okay, but there's now not a negative. So just say shift, sin. Remember, shift because you're telling your calculator to go to angles. So shift, sin. 0, 0,5 equals, and then I'm going to get 30 degrees. So that's meaning that this is 30, this is 30. But now don't forget that I must find the angle from the origin or from zero. Let's rather say zero and from there to there. So that is 180. So to find this angle is not a problem, it's just that 30. But to find this angle, I must say 180 minus the 30, and that will give me 150. Okay, if I look at this one, now again I see a what there, a negative. So make your cos diagram and say where is cos negative? Now cos is positive here, so cos will be negative in this two. Again, it will be in quadrant two and quadrant three. Now, again, now this is very important. When you find that angle, do not press in that negative. Just press shift cos 0 0.8 because you just want to find the positive, that one towards the x-axis. And then what do you get? 36.87. Now keep it to two decimal places so that your final answer will round to one decimal place. So that's meaning that this one is 36. Oh, let's just get it. 36.87. Thirty-six point eight seven. Now, don't forget, if you want this final answer, your answer is from the zero up to there. Remember, that's one eighty. So it's one eighty minus thirty-six point eight seven, and from there and a little bit. So it's one eighty plus thirty-six point eight seven, and now you can approximate it to one decimal place. Okay. Then the final one is positive, but again, where is tan positive? Tan is positive in what quadrant? Tan is positive in this one and this one. There it's negative. So draw your two triangles there towards the x-axis. Now again, first get your angle. Shift tan uh, 2.5 equals, and that angle is now 68.20. 68.20. Sixty-eight point two zero. Now, don't forget after that that this is your angle from that zero, and this is your angle. So this will be one eighty. Uh, okay, let's just see. Uh, minus. I just want to quickly see. Okay, one eighty. Uh, I just want to see if this is correct. One eighty. So it's sixty-eight. And 180 plus, there is definitely a mistake, plus that 68.2. And I'm just going to quickly press it in. Okay, so it's 180 plus 68.2, and that angle will be, that is incorrect. I will correct it in the textbook in the next print. Point two. Oh, sorry, just a pin. Point two. 
1.2 degrees. Okay, so because you can see it's 180 plus a little bit. Say, for example, it was in this quad quadrant, there will also be 360. Then I will say 360 minus, but in this example, it's not there. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, and now let's see which one I want, want you to do. I want you to do number A. I think that one is going to end up there. Um, I'm going to let you do number B and I'm going to let you do number C. Again, you can continue the videos as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay, now the first one, number A, is cos x equals 0 0.5. So in this case, I make my quadrant. Now don't forget that this is, oh, let's just get the pen correct. This is cos. That's where it's all positive. Now cos must be positive, and where is cos positive? Now cos is positive here, and cos is positive there. Now always do it there on the side. First, on your calculator, find that angle. So if I'm going to find that angle, I'm going to say uh, second function cos 0 0.5 equal, and I will get that that reference angle, let's just get the pen correct, the reference angle will be that 60 degrees. So this will be 60, and this will be 60. But remember, the angle I want is from there up to there, and from there up to there. Okay, so my two angles will be, the first one, x will be equal just to 60 degrees, and the second one will be x, and now in this one I showed you 360 minus 60. And that will give me 300 degrees. And that will be my final answer. Okay, let's do number B. Now in this one, it will be sin. And it's net x. And it's negative 0. 6. Okay, now again, this is my triangle, and now it's again cost. Okay, let's just see. That's where it's positive. So sin is positive there, but sin will be negative here. Okay, so now, again, I'm going to downtrace in the negative. So shift sin 0 0.6 equals, and approximate that angle to two decimal places, so that the final one can be one. So the reference angle and that will be 36.87. Okay, and now, don't forget, this is 36.87, this is 36. This is 180 plus 36.8, this is going to be 360 minus 36.87. So your one angle is going to be 180 Plus that, 36.87, 
and that will give you an answer of 2, 1, 6.9 degrees and the other angle if I move this, it's going to be a bit better. The other angle is going to be 360 minus. Oh, this pen. Minus that 36. Point eight seven, and that will give me an answer of three to three, one decimal place, three to three point one degrees. Okay, and then the final one. Let's see if, if I do it here on top. I will struggle a little bit less with the pen. I think this pen is now tired of making so many more videos. Okay, let's do the final one. So in this case, it's going to be, this is number C, so it's tan um, x, and now it's again a negative. Now first, make your diagram. Don't forget, it's going to be caused all where it's positive, but that's negative. So tan will be positive there, so where will tan be negative? Tan will be negative like that. Tan will be negative here and tan will be negative there. Okay. So if I'm going to do that one, so let's just quickly see. Okay, negative 3.4. So then I'm just going to first get my reference angle and don't press in that negative. So shift tan shift because you want to tell your calculator to go to angles shift tan 3.4 equals and that's going to be 73.61 make it two decimal places so that your final answer is one decimal place and then I'm just going to work with this so if I'm going to now say there is 180 so to find x It's going to be 180 minus 73.61. And that will give me 106.4 degrees. And the other one is x equals, and this is again 360 minus, so 360 minus. 73.61 and that will give me 286.4 degrees. Make sure that you practice all of them so that you have a basic idea. In the next level of mathematics, the AS level, we will go deeper into this kind of examples.